how soon is too soon and how young is too young to be considering your first home? Stick around for the question of the day as we get into it later on. What's going on, guys? Matt in the hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. You are tuned in to the hot list. I come to y'all Monday through Friday, each and every week, and we hang out and talk real estate. We talk about properties that are new to the market, been on the market, and had a recent price reduction as well as we talk and answer a question of the day and recognize a sponsor of the week each and every week. This week is no different. As you guys jump in here, if you are catching this on, if you're watching this on my Facebook page, if you would comment hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on how you are watching this, I would appreciate that. That way I, I know if, while you're doing that, if you would like this, share this out on Facebook. If you are watching this on my YouTube channel, do me do me a solid. Hit that thumbs up down there, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications. So as I drop video content every week, every day, you are kept up to date and can come check it out at your earliest convenience. Property we are talking about today is 1242 Luther Street right here in Emporia. It is a three bed, two and a half bath house. It does have an attached two car garage, 2,800 square feet of finished space, currently listed at 219.9, courtesy of Coldwell Banker of Poirier Real Estate. So, what is cool about this house is it's in a northwest location. And, you know, the three rules in real estate is location, location, location. This one has definitely got it because it's in the northwest part of town. So, it is closer to elementary schools. It is close to the mall. It is close to grocery stores. Um, it's close to some restaurants. It is close to everything. So that is number one it has going for it. Number two thing it has going for it, it has updated, they've updated uh, all the bathrooms. The kitchen is absolutely beautiful. And they've up, updated the family room that is in the basement. So definitely check that out. So th this one does have a basement. Um, it's got a fireplace, fenced in yard, deck, and a patio as well. Uh, definitely click on the link in the description and it's going to take you to the house so you can see the pictures for yourself. Especially check out that kitchen. Absolutely beautiful. Nice large kitchen. It's got some... It, it's got plenty of countertop space cabinets uh it's got an island in there and just absolutely looks looks amazing if you have any questions about the property or want to schedule a showing of it you can schedule that right through my website or just shoot me a message and let me know <clears throat> before we get to the question of the day i do want to recognize and thank our sponsor of the week this week and that is excess warehouse right here in emporia uh, they did want me to remind everybody that Today is discount day. Uh, your first item today at Excess Warehouse is 20% off. They so they wanted to uh, they wanted me to remind you of that as well as this is the final day of the final day final week for the discount day. So click on that link. It'll take you right to their Facebook page, and you can sign up right at the top of their page for their daily emails. And that'll keep you up to date on anything that they are, are selling and any new products that they get in. Uh, for example, today they posted some, oh, a nice, nice dresser, chest of drawers, uh, a dual vanity sink, and some wicker furniture for your patio. So no, no better place to start than Excess Warehouse. Definitely check them, check them out. All right, question of the day. You guys know I love the question of the day, and I thank you for every question that is submitted because it is submitted by you guys, the viewers, and I wouldn't be able to do this without you, so I greatly appreciate that. All right, so question of the day. I am single and in my 20s. How soon should I start to consider, or how soon is too soon to consider buying a, a house. Now, this is a phenomenal question. Uh, I have had people that have 
done this and asked questions like this of me before. And uh, this is a phenomenal question because this gets into and is going to take us through a generation that a lot of people have been looking down on and talking shit on when they are actually changing the home buying trend. So let's let's get into this. Because when you think of home buying, more often than not, you picture, you know, you picture buying a home, settling down, starting a family, or, you know, you already have, you have a family and you go from renting to buying. And don't, don't get me wrong, as somebody who has done this before, there is truth in most of those cases. And there's a good reason for it because there is a significant portion of the, the market that the buyers are couples as well as families. Now, however, that generation that I just talked about that is bucking the trend is the millennial generation. Believe it or not, it is, the, it is millennials that are bucking that trend and single people are becoming more increasingly likely to buy a home on on their own. So what we're going to talk about today are three things that you need to know about home ownership among singles. Number one, the importance of singles buying homes, especially right right now with millennials. There's multiple reasons why uh, this is going to in, there's been an increase in singles buying homes uh and it, it's absolutely worth discussing getting into now this may be due to overall changes in society uh just depending on what you, what you read where you research it i did a number of this just to get some of the stats that we're going to get into later so what i mean by changes in society is people are marrying or starting families later in life why is this because most of them do this once they have that stability and security of a, of their career. And this this speaks to an increased economic power. I, I believe that it speaks to an increased economic power of the millennial generation because buying a home to call their own while they are building or working on on their careers. There's something to be said for that. Now, here is something that not every realtor is going to tell you. So they, not every realtor is going to either tell you, advise you, or inform you about this next, this next topic because it's, it's often over, overlooked. Sellers may focus on making their property appealing to older buyers as in couples or families. Now this, doing this, you may significantly miss out on an opportunity and a new segment of home buyers because once you realize singles are buying homes this allows sellers to market the property beyond just couples and families this increases the likelihood of selling your home quickly because you're you know you're making you're basically casting a wider net and oftentimes without compromising on price Number two, women as home buyers. Interesting topic, right? Well, I think it's worth noting that a lot of you know that know that I used to sell cars, sold cars for four years, and while selling cars, I sold more vehicles to wives without their husbands than I did to husbands without their wives. Now, I don't know if it's because women are smarter than us men in general, or if it's because they're more mature, for example, my daughter's 25 and she's more mature at 25 than I am at 38. So there's that. But here's, here's some national, national stats. So single women are significantly more likely to buy homes than single men. For an example, as of last year, 18% of the buyers in la that bought a home last year were single women set versus 
of the buyers last year were single men, right? And single women are purchasing more expensive houses, making less money than single men. Uh, because no, no matter what stat you look at, they're somewhere between 75 to 80 percent. Uh, women will make 75 to 80 cents on the dollar for every, that a man makes. And they are purchasing, so they're making less and purchasing more expensive homes. Uh, the example and the national stat last year was the average price that a single woman purchased last year was 185,000 versus the single single men purchasing at 175. Uh, now, I, I believe that a lot of this goes back to them being smarter and more mature than us as as men uh you know you can you can hate it all you want i still believe that is 100 percent accurate look at my wife she is way smarter than me i also believe that women see the benefits in owning a home and building the equity in a home more than than men do consider this not only is there an increase increased likelihood of singles being interested in the property more often than not you're going to see women shopping for a home so keep keep that in mind now if this doesn't shake up some of the the old dog realtors it damn well better because those old dogs focus on married couples and i have seen this before the old dogs focus on married couples that are buying with the husband as the negotiator and trying to try to get the best deal. And I have seen that firsthand and that is a dick move. Um, so if you are an agent watching this, listening to this, that does that, um, it's time to change, man. So, uh, if you're, if your agent does this, I would recommend just kind of give them a, a wake up call because it's it's 2020 come on it's time for shit to change and finally number three thing you need to know attracting single buyers now obviously single buyers are going to have a different criteria versus couples and families when it comes to shopping for a home they may look for smaller properties uh, or they may look with look for homes with larger larger yards for gardening or or pets or you know there may be some other characteristics that are not as important to couples and families that may be more important to singles. Location is often differently viewed as as well uh, because singles may be less concerned with what school district they fall in, uh, proximity to some type of park or other type of family destination. They are more likely based on national studies to consider a closer proximity to work as well as social attractions. What type of social attraction? It's it's going to vary. So, I mean, you're talking bars, clubs. I mean, what whatever young people do. I don't I don't know. I know that's what I did and I focused on when I was young, but you know, most time millennials anymore are smarter than I am. So, you just gotta you just gotta figure figure that part out as far as what social attractions but you know if you have a single buyer ask them ask them you know what's more important to work what do you what are your hobbies what are your interests and that will definitely help narrow down some some areas as well and singles versus couples and families should be advertised differently as as well because and when you advertise that, focus on what single women or men find more appealing and target that if, if you need to. Remember, we talked about casting that wider net. If, you, if you're able to do that, cast that wider net, whether it's more targeted for single men, single women, whatever the case may be, just do it and, and get it done. And finally, you know, you don't necessarily have to target singles singles themselves just be aware of the differences the differences between them can help create 
home listings and home advertisements that are going to reach further and be more appealing to buyers. So back to the original question of how soon is too soon? Well, you know, just a few years ago, you didn't start seeing people buying buying houses till their mid to late 30s. Now, because of the millennial generation, you're seeing it much, much younger in mid to late 20s and and early early 30s. So it is the buying power of the millennial generation right now that has really been making up for some people that have that haven't really or have put off buying a home in in years past for whatever reasons. Uh, now, is home buying up to you? Absolutely. You have to figure out where you're at in your career. If you're going to be sticking around in the area that you're that you currently live or are you going to be moving moving somewhere else only you can answer that i would not be able to answer that for you but i would be happy to answer any questions i can about the home buying process whether it's your first time buying a home or you are a seasoned pro and just haven't just you know it's been a while and you don't know how long or where where to start because it's been so long so that's what I got for you guys today. If you have a question of the day that you want to submit, make sure you head over to my website and you can contact me there. Shoot me a message through Facebook. I would I would love to answer your question of the day and put it on the show. So thanks for watching the hot list with Matt in a hat. Matt Johnson Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams Diamond Partners. I do this because your experience matters and should be trusted with a veteran. Y'all have an awesome Wednesday and I'll see you in here tomorrow.